Stanlow Terminals is skilled in dealing with some of the largest marine vessels in the world through the deep port at Tranmere and utilising pipelines and terminals which also allow access to UK markets. Tramia handles feedstock that provides about 16% of the UK's transport fuels. Stanley Terminals is leading the development of energy infrastructure that's going to deliver the energy transition and deliver the government's and the UK's net zero aspirations. The two facilities are primed to lead the national charge and create the UK's first storage and sustainable energy hub. We're the largest UK biofuels hub. We're not only going to be storing biofuels but also liquid fuels. The biofuels hub will allow customers to store, blend and distribute biofuels and low carbon transportation fuels into the UK market. We've announced plans to build 300,000 cubic metres of storage capacity for biofuels over the next three years. It's also developing new storage for green ammonia, LNG and liquid organic hydrogen providers. It will own and operate hydrogen and carbon dioxide pipelines. This means the company can provide storage solutions for the developing hydrogen economy to connect Vertex Hydrogen to its customers. We're developing a hydrogen transport hub that will allow us to distribute hydrogen to our customers as part of the hydrogen transition. So the road terminal at the moment situated at our Stanlow site is Europe's largest road terminal. So we've got 23 loading gantries, got an ethanol loading gantry, so that's 500 trucks per day visiting our site. We've got the potential also to develop rail infrastructure here and to build an on-site carbon dioxide network that allows us to capture customers' emissions and move them across to the infrastructure being built as part of the HiNet project. We've got a key desire to be sustainable. We are looking into wind and solar. We've got a huge land bank here at Stanlow and it's available for customers who are complementary to the energy transition. We can provide storage and pipeline services to allow them to access products like hydrogen and also capture their CO2 emissions. We're putting investments into that facility to allow us to distribute the fuels of the future.